Well, we are unspinning the political headlines with Roger Putnam of Putnam Roby Williamson Communications and Brian Chimming of Midwest Strategy, also vice chair of the state Republican Party. So the documents and emails have been released in the John Doe investigation. Both Governor Walker and Democratic candidate Mary Burke responded this week. Walker has been asked about the emails. We ran a story again yesterday. I want to know what you guys think about the way he's handled or answered the questions. I think he's handled it great because he's told the truth and it's it's what he did beforehand. Look, what's interesting about the investigation is Scott Walker asked for the investigation originally and so when the he asked the Democrat DA of his county, Milwaukee County, to look into this thing, Scott Walker, first of all, wasn't found responsible for any of it and didn't even end up a target of the investigation. This is how thin a gruel this whole email thing uh, has been and we see it dropping off already for good reason. He told the truth and that's why there was no chasing it. Once upon a time Ronald Reagan, our esteemed president, said tear down this wall. Well the wall was coming down anyway so Walker calls for an investigation because he knew the investigation was going to happen anyway. He wants to put this in the rear view mirror. The, the problem is of uh, integrity integrity and honesty. He's not, gonna, he's not going to jail. He's not going to get charged with anything. But he has to answer the integrity and honesty question. Clearly the emails show that he knew what was going on about this secret email uh, account, router, what have you. He wants it in the rearview mirror. Good luck. Does this have political implications looking forward to the gubernatorial race? You know, I, not in, a, not in a major sense. I think that the polling would suggest that, uh, that this is not what people are focused on. They're on jobs, just like all the politicians talk about, Birkin and Walker, of course, uh, education. So I think at the, on balance at the end of the day, no, it's not going to be a huge deal. But the headlines are out there, and believe me, smart po pol political uh, campaigns use them. Look, Mary Burke needs something to talk about because what she's been talking about so far isn't working. She she promised a no promises campaign and that she has certainly done. She ran away from her president when he came into the state to campaign. So listen, they need something to talk about. She hasn't had much to talk about to this point. The election still in the end is about whether the state is going to move forward or backward. And since we have that breaking news, we're going to get out of this, you guys, and we will discuss voter ID in the event that we watch what happens with the Supreme Court in a couple of weeks. Thank you so much. We'll be back right after this.